Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Quantum of Solace. So do you remember in Casino Royale, uh, that whole part with the casino and poker? Well, we're going to do that entire part in today's level, and it's aptly named Casino Royale. Ma'am? How's the game? Bond off to a good start? Until now, someone's beaten us to Le Chief. Obano's men took him. They're at the casino. Obano lost millions investing with Le Chief, and now he's come to collect. Where's Bond? After them now. Good. We can't allow Le Chief to be harmed. Obano and his men must be stopped. This is a waste of time. I have no intention of cheating Mr. Obano. You can tell him yourself. Move! You'd best move quietly. Obano has taken over the floor. His men will be everywhere. Everywhere, including right in front of us. We actually don't get control until this guy turns away. Right, so this entire level takes place in the hotel part of this hotel and casino. We gotta be careful, we wanna do this part, this level actually, as stealthily as possible. Who was this man? A bodyguard for Le Chief. He was alone? He was when I killed him. You are a true soldier, Besiji. Let us hope his friends come looking for him. This time, we will both be waiting. Now we can take care of these two guys the boring way, but I'm going to use a little trick I picked up in the uh, GoldenEye Wii LP. Done and done. Now, as we can see, there's a phone up here next to this giant TV. So this appears to be blueprints of the hotel. It looks like Obano's men were... Uh, well, they're not rookies, let's just say that. Now this section is a really good view. They did a really nice job on the uh, skyline for this area. But I think this is the last we're going to be seeing of it, because we want to head around the side of the building here. Obano did not come this far to be disappointed. He will get our money. And if there's none to be had, then what? Then even I feel sorry for the sheep. Bond, we've located Obano's room. Not now! So one thing I've never really shown off in the game yet is uh, if you go to your cell phone, there's a map here. And you can see your objective and a little description, but most importantly, you can actually see where guys are. So here we can see that guy on the right is actually entering the room. And we're lucky, because he could have taken us by surprise if we didn't know he was there. Now the guy in the left-hand room always seems to get me. Every time I try and turn the corner, he's has turned around and happens to be looking at me. So I'm taking it very carefully this time. There we go. Now as you can hear, there's another cell phone in this room. And it's apparently something about a rattling air vent in the locker room. That seems like a strange thing to have lying around in someone's room. But here we can actually see on the camera, you can hear and we'll be able to see the rattling air vent. We didn't actually unlock the cameras in this level, but they are available to us. We also have a view of some courtyard it looks like. 
and a big dining room. Nice looking dining room too. So if you listen, you can hear that rattling air vent. This is the locker room we saw in the camera. Tana. Obono's room is on the other side of the floor. That's where they'll take Le Chief. So if you didn't guess before, we want to uh, climb into that vent and do a little bit of Gordon Freeman action. Okay, so it looks like there's a fight going down, and interestingly enough, this is a fight we are not a part of. At least not yet. So there are two factions involved. Those are Le Chief's men on the left, and Obano's men on the right. Now unfortunately, the fight is sort of set up, so they never actually really hurt each other. Which means we're, we are going to have to go down there and deal with this situation ourselves. And it's time to pull out the SAF 9mm. At this point, uh, stealth is sort of out the window, at least for this part. But we're gonna stick with silenced weapons because this is a hotel after all, there are probably people trying to sleep. And now we're back in stealth mode. Ten million dollars just to buy into a card game. How much is in the pot? The winner will take a hundred million at least. And this is how the sheep expect to get back our money. He is a desperate man. We pick up a uh, another weapon, the A3 Raker with a silencer. We're not going to be using it just yet, but it'll come in handy later. And we uh, we have to do some more ledge climbing. Where is Obano? He's in the ballroom with the sheep. Go. You are not coming. It is too quiet. Something is not right. I will keep watch from the balcony. Unfortunately, the balcony is where we are. So we want to take this guy out before he sees us. Luckily he doesn't have very good eyesight. Looks like the ballroom is this way. But our last cell phone is just sitting here in this room. This apparently says that there are helium tanks for inflating balloons in the ballroom 
and they are both unsightly and dangerous. Bond, changing plan. The chief never made it to Obano's room. I know. He's in the ballroom. So the ballroom is through this door here, but to uh, get through we have to unlock it first. What's sort of interesting is that this uh, hacking minigame is incredibly easy. Like, really, really easy. Where are they? Le Chief's men! We have seen no one. They killed a dozen of our soldiers in the spa. We will take Le Chief to my room. The rest of you stay here. We must hold this place. Alright, so this appears to be a choke point. They got a bunch of guys here in the ballroom, and we need to get through. You can see uh, one guy here, one guy there, and a couple more crowded around that piano in the center of the room. So let's do this uh, in a pretty cool way. Right, so the chandelier was a big... Uh, environmental hazard slash set piece. And it's pretty cool, actually. You can see from the uh, thing at the top there, they call this an ambush. But it's not... it's not really an ambush. It's just... I don't know. A gauntlet, I guess. It's also very annoying. Guys come from all over the place, from all different directions, and... Some of the cover is destructible, so it doesn't really... It doesn't work very well. I was hoping these guys would go to the left, because I wanted to show off some more of these incredibly explosive helium canisters. Which is sort of ridiculous in the first place, but there you go. You can see there what I mean about the destructible cover. But uh, these last guys are, well, the last guys between us and Obano and Le Chief. So with that music cue, we are done with this level, and we just got to get through to the uh, to the end. Where is my Get back to the room. I'll meet you there. You'll have it tomorrow. All of it. Take the stairs. You think you could lose that kind of money and no one would notice? Look out! And here we see Obano for the first time. And his appearance takes the form of another QTE fight. This one is actually a really well done sequence taken straight from the movie.
Datsabano? Or what's left of him. I've sent a man to deal with the body. And Le Chief? Back at the table, but off his game. I think Bond can take him. He's won the last two hands. I'm told he's the best player in the service. I can attest to it. After Le Chief loses, I want him brought in as quickly as possible. A cornered man is a dangerous one. There's no telling what he'll do. Yes, ma'am. Bond, keep an eye on the sheaf. When the game ends, we'll need to move fast. Bond, acknowledge, please. Ma'am, he's not responding. Monsieur, monsieur, it is your bed. Something wrong with your drink, Mr. Bliss? Bond, your heart rate just went through the roof. I know. Deal me out. You've got to get out of the casino into your car. Use a defibrillator in the Aston Martin. Without it, you'll be dead in minutes. Hurry, James. So it appears we've been poisoned. But we can just ask Vesper for help, right? But, oh. No, she's on a, uh, important phone call. In any case, that's right, they actually made a level out of this part of the movie. Bond is essentially tripping balls on poison, and we need to wander our way through the hotel and get to his car so we can administer first aid or something. I'm not sure how hard it looks, but it is kind of difficult to control in this part. He sort of stumbles all over the place and the level changing doesn't really help. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite levels in the game just for the sheer novelty of it. I'm pretty sure the first time I played it and had to do this, I had to actually pause the game just to laugh. Because I find this really funny. I'm downstairs, wait. How much longer? I just checked in. You don't have a bill. Gotta look both ways, James. Now, when we cross the street here and get to our car, it's gonna end the level. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.